Should I shut the sunroof? Oh, that makes it really dark. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, we are in my car and this is a different video. This is not a beauty related video. As you can tell by the title, you know what it is. I'm gonna be showing you what I eat in a day. <laughs> I know it kind of sounds pretty stupid, but I personally love watching these videos. I apologize in advance. I know the lighting is gonna be like pretty wonky in this video because I'm in the car. So before I go any further into this video, I just want to express that I am not a fitness guru. I am not a nutritionist. And this is just simply me sharing with you what has worked for me with dieting. Well, not really like dieting, but you'll see what I'm talking about. But just like eating better and the changes in my diet that I've made that have you know helped improve my quality of life this is just something that i really wanted to share with you guys because it's something that excites me and it's just quickly changed my life in so many ways and i don't want to go as far as saying like it's a new passion for me but i can definitely see it like being a lifetime thing okay so i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a backstory of how i got started and doing all of this stuff and making these changes it's really as simple as one day I woke up and I just felt really tired and like really just crappy in the morning. And I'm not really a morning person, but I want to be a morning person so bad because I feel like it's just such a great way to start your day and be motivated. And I wasn't any of those things. <laughs> and I was like, man, I am sick of feeling like this. Like I'm sick of not looking forward to summer. I have never looked forward to summer and being in a swimsuit or anything like that. And I was like, you know what? I'm just ready. When you get those bursts of motivational feelings, they don't come very often. So whenever they do come, you really have to just like take it and run with it. So I knew this girl from the area where I live and I knew that she was a trainer and she was like my age and I, I had met her like once or twice before, but we weren't like friends or anything like that. So I slid in her DMs and I was like, hey girl, I want to change my life, help, <laughs> pretty much. And she was like, hell yeah, like, let's get it. When you want to start? And I was like, tomorrow. <laughs> and we started the next day. I needed help with like machines and knowing what weight to do and you know, knowing what reps to do and just stuff like that. And I needed to just learn about the body in order to really understand my goals and what I was trying to achieve. So I just explained to her my goals. I told her I wanted to get stronger. I wanted to just be healthier all around and I wanted to feel more energized. I wanted to just like feel better physically, mentally. I wanted to become a morning person. And I also told her that I wanted to lose like 10 pounds, but I wasn't too worried about the scale because I knew that by doing all of these other things and just like getting in the gym and working out and stuff and eating better that like weight would just come off. So I feel like that's also a big thing that's really helped me because every other time I tried to work out or diet, I was so worried about the scale and then I would hop on the scale and a week later like I wouldn't lose any weight and then I would just get discouraged and feel like I'm doing everything for nothing. But in essence like I just wasn't giving it enough time I wasn't being patient enough so like I just quit and you can't do that so she introduced me to these things called macronutrients and I never knew what macronutrients were I heard people talk about them but I really wasn't into changing my diet or anything so I didn't care to learn what they meant but it's actually really simple. So macronutrients are just your proteins, your carbs, and your fats. My trainer explained to me that tracking your macronutrients is probably the easiest and most effective way of eating and going throughout life without wanting to quit because 
you can still eat whatever you want it just it's all about balance and if you guys have watched any of my other videos it's so funny because I always talk about balance and how everything in life is about balance recently a lot of people have seen a difference in my body and they are asking me so like what diet are you on or you know you look great when are you gonna be done with your diet and I'm just like I'm not on a diet you know it's not something that I'm gonna be like just done with yeah after I see my results so that's the cool thing about tracking your macros is it's not like something that you dread and you want to be done with it because I still get to eat whatever I want I can have ice cream I can have all the things that I'm used to having it's just all about portion control and balancing everything it's definitely a way of life for me now and it's something that is doable and I think that's the most important part and why this whole thing has me so excited because I don't dread going to the gym I don't dread eating nasty plain bland food because it make really good food and really flavorful food and it's so good for me so your personal macros will depend on your body type and also your personal goals and that's what I needed a trainer for to kind of help me with those because I have no idea what I'm doing I just am like oh I weigh this much I want to weigh this much that's it. So after telling my trainer all of my goals and everything, she helped me set my macronutrient goals to where they needed to be. And right now I am eating high protein, I would say like a moderate carb level and then a moderate to low fat. 121 grams of protein every single day, 180 some carbs, which seems like a lot, but it's really not once you start eating like fruits and vegetables, they add up quick. And then 45 grams of fat per day. Also, when you're looking at macronutrients, you take a look at your calories too. And right now I'm eating about 1600 calories a day. Personally, I need all three macronutrients to function properly. I have just found that it's what works best for my body carbs are not the devil and neither are fats you have to find a balance and just really stick to it I think that's the most important part Another thing that I could not do this without is the app called my fitness pal so I started tracking all of my food and it has literally opened my eyes to so much there is a premium feature that you can pay for on that app I think it's like $50 a year which sounds like a lot but if you don't want to do it that way it's $10 a month and you're saving like hella money if you just buy the $50 and use it for the year and you it'll show you like a breakdown of your macronutrient features which is what I needed so I bought the premium feature and I would say it's hundred percent worth it if you're trying to start tracking your macros this is like a necessity you definitely need it I'm sure there are other apps out there that you can use that might be cheaper but this is just the one that I like I used it a while ago so I was already pretty familiar with the app and because I am tracking my food I cook a lot more because when you eat out you don't you okay you know what you're eating and the menu might tell you how many calories are in it but you have no idea like if they put butter olive oil and stuff and that can add a lot of fat to your meal so if I'm making all my food at home I know exactly what goes into it I know exactly what to track and it just makes things a lot easier for me so with that being said obviously now I eat out a lot less and I cook a lot more which is good because I like to cook and I like to experiment and find new ways to make my food taste amazing and still be good for you I feel like when people think about eating healthy and eating clean they just think chicken and broccoli well I don't know maybe that's like just what I used to think it is so much more than that I'm always uploading pictures to my Instagram stories and my snapchat about food that I make and food that I'm eating and people are always asking me about recipes and they're asking me you know if I could be their personal chef and like I'm flattered but sis this stuff is easy I find a lot of my recipes on Pinterest or I just think of all the flavors that I like and I'll just make something up and you know throw it all in a pan with some chicken or some fish or anything like that shrimp I just love to cook and I know what flavors that I like and luckily I like a lot of healthy stuff so it just ends up working out for me I freaking love food I always have loved food it's like a comfort thing for me and if I have to eat healthy trust me if there's anyone in this world that's gonna find a way to make their food as good as possible you know taste like it's like really good and fatty and like 
yummy, packed with flavor, it is me because I don't like any bland food because I'll quit that real quick. Diet is the most important part of a healthy body, inside and outside. So it's just really crucial that you pay attention to the foods that you're putting in your body. Read every label on everything, okay? If there's no nutritional value in it, don't eat it. I can't buy anything now without looking at the label. And if there is no nutritional value in it, like, you know, candy has no nutritional value. None. Alcohol, no nutritional value. And I'm not saying like every once in a while I don't have some candy or I don't have some alcohol, but I just try to make like better choices. A couple other changes that I've made are I eat very minimal sugar. Um, like I said, I always look at labels and I probably won't buy something if it has like over five grams of sugar. So in addition to looking at fats, carbs, and proteins on a nutrition label and also calories, I always look at sugar, but normally if, you know, I'm, I'm staying in certain levels of like my carbs and fats, like the sugar kind of just like watches itself because sugar is a carb. I also eat very minimal dairy products, which isn't very hard for me because I never really drank a lot of milk or ate a lot of cheese. The only thing that is hard is ice cream. I love ice cream. I used to eat it every single day until I realized like how bad it is for you. Oh my god, it's so bad. Definitely still do eat some dairy and I hope one day maybe I could cut it out completely but I've noticed that it doesn't really do anything for me. It, it's protein and fat, yeah, but I can find protein and fat in other foods, so I don't get that like bloating feeling that dairy gives me. I also drink a lot of water. I thought I drank a lot of water before I started doing this, but now I drink like double the amount of water. It's just what has to be done. My trainer told me however much you weigh, divide it in half, and that's how many ounces of water you should drink a day at minimum. So I drink at least like five bottles of water every day. So far I have lost 10 pounds in about six weeks and I have lost inches everywhere on my body. I am definitely noticeably thinner, just more lean all around. I can see it, I can feel it. I am definitely stronger. I can also see that and feel it. But a really, really big thing for me and I didn't notice until maybe like a couple weeks into working out is that I used to always have really achy joints and I used to think I had a bad back because my lower back would always hurt. I would go to the chiropractor and I thought it was just like my genetics and because everyone in my family kind of has back pain and no joint pain and stuff like that. Guys, when I started lifting weights and hitting the gym and strengthening my body, literally no pain. I don't have any joint pain. When I bend over, it's not like, ugh, when I'm getting up. I don't have back pain, no like achy pains that make me feel like I'm 70 years old, okay? So if you feel like you are 70 years old and you're in your 20s, you need to hit the gym and strengthen your body. One day I mentioned it to my trainer and I told her, I was like, dude, I don't have any body pain. Like, this is amazing. And she was like, yeah, because you're getting stronger. And when your body isn't strong and you're doing things and using certain parts of your body that aren't strong, it'll then depend on the parts of your body that are strong. Like your back is pretty strong, um, your legs are strong, then all of those parts of your body are working double time to help support every other part of your body that is not as strong. So when you're strengthening your whole body and getting your blood flowing, it just really does miraculous things for your body, like overall. And it just blew my mind and I'm so happy. And I don't know if there will ever be a time where I'm not trying to like strengthen my body because it's that amazing. So yeah, get into the gym, stop just doing a bunch of cardio and lift some weights. I will say that I've always had a pretty athletic build. I wouldn't call myself skinny, but I've always had like bigger thighs and you know, a big butt and a decently flat stomach. Thank you, Jesus. And a pretty small waist, which I know you're probably thinking like, Wow, that's great. I'm happy with that and I've, I've never like hated my body, but I've never loved it either. So I feel like I have a pretty good foundation to work with because I am happy with my shape, 
I just want to perfect it. You guys wanna hear a funny story? So in high school, one morning I woke up. Let me just say, I live in a private area, uh, like up on a hill and it's, it's private property and people aren't allowed to just like go walk up there. And one morning I woke up for school and I went outside in my driveway and someone, to this day, I still don't know who it is. I heard like rumors about who it was and stuff, but you know, I'll never know. But it's something that I have never forgotten, obviously. I'm here talking about it today, like seven years later. But I woke up and someone had come up to my house and took one of those window chalk markers and they wrote thunder thighs, like real big in red lettering all across all of my windows. And at the time, it really upset me because I didn't want to have big thighs. You know, I didn't want to have like a bigger build and have big thighs and a big butt. Like I wanted to just be skinny. I wanted to be thin. I feel like a lot of people can relate to this. So I remember just crying and I can't remember if I skipped school or not, but I just had to like wipe that off and just act like it didn't happen. But now I don't care because you know, my thighs are my thighs and I've had these thighs since I was little. So it is what it is. I'm never gonna have like small thighs or skinny thighs and I've accepted that and it took me a while to like get out of that phase of wanting to be like super skinny. But yeah, that's just something that happened to me and kind of scarred me a little bit. There is a freaking motorcycle. Can you guys see him in my rear view? There's a freaking street bike and he's like going wee 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 wee. You're not cool. Don't room past me. You're not impressing nobody over here, okay? But anyway, the point of that, I feel like I've always had a good body to work with. Um, not saying that it's made this process any easier for me, but I definitely feel like having 20 years of sports under my belt has helped me maintain the body that I have right now, if that makes sense. So now, like I said, I'm just kind of polishing what I have. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now because I'm almost at the gym. But in today's video, I'm just gonna go throughout kind of like a normal day for me and show you guys what I eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Maybe dessert. I don't know, we'll see. But I don't like to eat a lot before I go to the gym, but I have to have something in my stomach or else I get really sick. So today, normal days, I'll just grab a banana, which I'm almost at the gym, so I need to eat it anyway. And then I'll make a coffee, as you guys saw. And if I'm really tired, I'll put a shot of espresso in it, and then I just sweeten it with stevia. I don't use any milk or cream or anything. I recently bought an espresso, and it makes your coffee like really frothy and creamy, so it's kind of like there's a little bit of cream in it anyway. See, it kind of went away now, but yeah. And then I just put it over. I like iced coffee, especially in the morning. Who am I kidding? I like iced coffee all the time, any season, any weather. Oh. Anyway. I'm about to be at the gym, so I'm not gonna bring my camera in and show you guys. I'm not there yet. Maybe someday though, I'm not gonna say never. I will be back in a couple hours after my workout, and then I'll show you guys my post-workout meal, and then my lunch, and how I prep for dinner, and everything like that. I'll see you in like two seconds. <laughs> Whew. The little back and shoulder work today. So after a workout, I like to eat a protein bar. My favorite are the Quest protein bars. I just think they taste really good. Some of them, not all of them. My favorites are actually the blueberry muffin and the cookies and cream. The s'mores one is good too, but I feel like they just changed the formula and it's not as good. It has like white chocolate in it with actual cookie chunks. I think it tastes really good. It's best to eat proteins after a workout because your body is kind of recovering and you know using those nutrients to help rebuild muscle and stuff. So that's why you always see people eating like hella protein after a workout. These have pretty low carb and I think there's like six to eight grams of fat depending on which bar you get. And there's under 200 calories in these and 21 grams of protein. So that's a lot of protein. And then I also like to drink one of these after my workout. This is a protein infused water. 
Uh, the flavor is grape. They have 15 grams of protein, no carbs. I'm sorry, one carb, basically no carbs. Um, zero grams of sugar and no fat and only 60 calories. So this right here is kind of like eating a small chicken breast, which is pretty cool because you can get it in like drink form. I think they taste pretty good. I don't mind the, the tiny bit of protein taste that you get in them. It's way better than drinking a protein shake because girl, whew, I cannot drink protein shakes. They're awful to me, I hate them, they make me want to throw up. So these types of things are a really nice alternative if you also hate protein shakes and protein powder and like what. I'm gonna drive home from the gym, drink this, eat this, and keep drinking water too. And when I get home, I'm gonna show you guys an idea of what I like to make for lunch. And I also have to work tonight, so I'm gonna prep my dinner so I can take it to work with me. So, I'll see you guys at home. Guys, I forgot, I had to come to Giant Eagle to get stuff to make dinner. I hate coming to the grocery store, especially in the middle of the day, because when you live in a small town, you see at least five people you know. And I ain't ever trying to chat, you know what I'm saying? So far, I just got some sweet onions and garlic, and now I gotta go get the chicken. So I just like to get the hand-trimmed, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I think the breasts are more tender than the um, tenderloins, so I just like to get these. And lastly, I just need some whole wheat pasta. Okay, where is the whole wheat? Oh, it's down here. <laughs> um, I like to get the whole grain spaghetti just because there's protein in it. Let me see. There's eight grams of protein. It's pretty low fat and it's just a better carb for you than normal pasta. And I think that's everything. So we are outie. You guys like my new shoes? Aren't they so cute? I love them. All right guys, so now I'm home and I'm gonna show you what I made for lunch. So since I don't like to eat a really big breakfast and I don't eat a lot before I go to the gym and I go to the gym in the morning, I like to have breakfast for lunch. So right here I just have two pieces of whole wheat toast with about a tablespoon and a half peanut butter, crunchy peanut butter, which sounds like a lot of fat and it is, but it's like the majority of fat that I'm going to have for the day. And then here I just have two egg whites and one whole egg because I'm not at the point yet where I can just eat straight egg whites. I have to have a little bit of yolk in there. And then I have about seven ounces of strawberries. And since I live in Ohio and I don't have the ripest, sweetest fruit, I like to put a little bit of stevia on it just to make the berries a little bit sweeter. So yeah, this is my lunch. Okay guys, so I know I just ate, but I have to work tonight, so now I'm actually gonna make my dinner so I can take it to work with me and eat it there. The recipe that I'm gonna make is so easy and minimal and seriously, like, so freaking good. A lot of people think that healthy food is really bland, but, like, if you've ever heard of onions or garlic or peppers, you know, you can really create some really flavorful stuff and make the food tastes really 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 good if you like french onion soup you're going to love it it is seriously so good it's called french onion chicken and um, i'm pretty good at like eyeballing ounces and grams at this point but i weigh my food to be more accurate so this is already like pre-done out like the ounces i know how much it is this is obviously isn't one portion i'm gonna make this so i can eat it over the next couple days i'm just gonna turn my heat on high and i'm gonna put some avocado oil into the pan I don't measure this out or anything, but I just like the flavor of avocado oil and it's better than olive oil if you're cooking at high temperatures because the flavor of it doesn't change. I'm not gonna track avocado oil even though it's high in fat, but just because I use so little and this is obviously divided up into multiple portions and I'm not that much of a Nazi when it comes to tracking. I have three whole big onions that I roughly sliced and I'm gonna let these cook down and caramelize and get really, really, really yummy. And then on top, I just put some coarse sea salt and black pepper, and this might go without saying, but you don't have to track things like salt and pepper and garlic and stuff like that. Um, so don't really worry about being that precise if you are planning to track your food. I'm gonna let these cook down until they get pretty brown and caramelized, 
And then at the last minute, I'm going to put the garlic in. I have a, um, a garlic press, so I don't have to take my time chopping all this up. But you wanna add your garlic in kinda towards the end because garlic burns really fast and you don't want it to burn because it'll change the whole taste of your dish and the burnt garlic is no good. Onions are pretty caramelized. I'm going to go ahead and add in the garlic. I like to use fresh garlic and then put it through a garlic press so it kind of makes it minced, but you could totally use minced garlic. This would be a whole lot easier, but I just prefer the taste of fresh garlic over already like packaged minced garlic and water. So now I'm just gonna add this in. The recipe calls for like two cloves, so you know I had to put like five. <laughs> now that the onions pretty much are how I want them, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer them to that bowl right there and then cook the chicken. For the chicken, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit more avocado oil in the pan. And then I have about, I don't know how much chicken here. I'm gonna weigh it out, so each portion is about five ounces. This is like triple or quadruple that. Um, and then I just took about a tablespoon of flour just to coat the chicken. Also, I want to mention that I only used like a tablespoon of flour. And again, that's going to be divided up into multiple portions. So that's also something that I'm not going to track. So right now, I'm just going to brown the chicken. It actually cooks pretty quick, believe it or not. And then back here, I had some whole wheat pasta that I boiled. I'm just going to strain that. And this actually isn't a part of the recipe, the whole grain pasta but I just found that it tastes really good with this dish and it's a nice way to add in some extra carbs that you need and get some protein too. Also, side note, if I wanna have like a little snack before work, like in between my lunch and my dinner, I'll have something like this. This is just about two cups of watermelon. I know it doesn't look like a lot. And for someone that eats, like I could eat a whole half a watermelon in one sitting. You know, this doesn't really do the trick, but it's still carbs and it's still sugar, so I still weigh it out. Um, so this is about two cups and I'll eat this kind of like in between lunch and dinner if I want a little snack. All right guys, so now that the chicken is almost done, I went ahead and turned down the heat to about medium. And now I'm going to add close to this whole thing of beef broth. And beef broth is really low in calorie. There's no sugar, barely any fat, like 0.5 grams one carb and that's in one cup so and two grams of protein forgot to say that if I didn't already say it so this is pretty pretty good for you too and then I'm just gonna go ahead and add it to the chicken add back in the sauteed onions and garlic Then I'm just going to let this simmer on low heat for a little bit and the broth will kind of thicken up the longer you let it simmer. And then just so I can measure this more accurately, I do it after I've already put my portion out, like set up aside what I'm going to eat, like how many ounces of everything I'm going to eat. I'll put about a third of a cup of this low moisture whole milk mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella is just a good option. It's high in protein. It's not as high in fat as a lot of other white cheeses. Uh, only one carb, so I like to use a little bit of this. So really, my fats for the day just came from the peanut butter and then this cheese. Everything else was low to no fat. Okay, sorry, it's not the best presentation, but I'm taking it in a to-go container because I have to go to work. And normally, I would melt the cheese, but I'm just about to put a lid on it and go to work anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it because it'll melt itself. So I just put about... Let me see. So I just put about one and a half ounces of the whole wheat pasta on the bottom. This is it guys. And before I go, I just want to show you this and everything that I tracked today. So at the top you can see my banana. I put my protein bar in there and the great protein drink that I ate or drank rather. <laughs> and then for lunch you can see I had one egg, two egg whites, two pieces of the Sara Lee honey wheat, um, seven ounces of strawberry, and then one and a half tablespoons of peanut butter. And then for dinner, everything is in there, portioned out already. The mozzarella cheese, the whole wheat spaghetti, chicken, onion, and beef broth. And then I have down here my watermelon as a snack. And then as you can see up here for the day, I still have about 170 calories I can take up. But I went over my protein. I have 4 grams of fat left and 19 carbs. So that's pretty good, like a pretty solid day for me. You want to stay like within 5 under, or under and over 
with all of these things. Um, the carbs I'm not too worried about because I ate enough for the day, but yeah, so that's like a typical day for me. This video was a lot to film, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't really know how it's gonna turn out, but I'm no chef. I'm just a girl that likes to work out now and cares about what she puts in her body. So I also want to give a special shout out to my trainer, Taylor. If you guys are interested in contacting her or looking her up, I'll leave all of her information below. I would not have been able to do this without all of her help and guidance and she motivates me every day. So thank you, Taylor. I love you. And yeah, I think that's it for today, guys. I have to go to work because, you know, I'm late per usual. <laughs> but um, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.